What's up everybody? This is Coach Jason coming to you live inside the rack. I'm starting a brand new video series all about women and weight training. In this video series, I'm going to walk you step by step through the process of getting started in weight training. In this video, episode one, we're going to focus on the top seven excuses that women give not to weight train and I'm going to debunk each one, one at a time. So without further delay, let's go inside the rack. So starting off is excuse number one. This is by far the most common excuse women give why they can't weight train. I don't want to lift weights because I don't want to look too muscular like those bodybuilder women. They are not sexy at all. This one's actually pretty easy to debunk if you look into the biological differences between men and women. The number one hormone responsible for muscle growth is testosterone. Women have between 10 and 30 times less testosterone than men do. Let me say that again. Not percent. Men have between 10 and 30 times more testosterone than women do. So if you're looking to put on muscle and be like a bodybuilder chick, you're going to have to take a testosterone supplement and probably take steroids. That's the only way you can do it. Naturally, it's not even possible because you don't have the hormones in your body to allow you to put on muscle mass like a man does. Now here's an example I'm going to give you. Kimberly Wolford is a seven time world champion power lifter. The strongest woman in the world at 158 pounds. Does she look bulky? No, she looks like a normal woman and it's because of the genetics. Now on to question number two. Doesn't cardio burn more calories than weightlifting? So to help answer this one, I'm gonna put a chart up here in the split screen. All the exercises on this chart are based on one hour duration of exercise time. So the majority of exercises on this list for a new trainee are not even sustainable for an hour. You can walk for an hour and burn about 250 calories, but hiking, jogging, swimming, aerobics, riding a bike, jumping rope, or running are probably not even possible for you to do for an hour. Where weight training is pretty easy to do for an hour. The other advantage of weight training, besides burning a lot more calories than most aerobic exercises, is when you do aerobics, as soon as you stop, you stop burning calories. When you weight train, you create little micro tears in the muscles. Your body needs to repair these little micro tears. So while repairing the muscle damage created during exercise of weight training, you burn more calories. Another advantage of weight training is that you build muscle. And in building muscle, although it may be small, muscle burns more calories than fat does. So in several different ways, weight training is superior to cardio for calorie burn and weight loss. I don't even know how. I don't know how to lift weights. I'll probably get hurt or something. Now this one at least has a little bit of truth to it. You can get injured if you don't do things correctly or do things safely. But none of us are born knowing how to weight train. It's an acquired skill for everyone. I had to learn how to weight train. I had to learn how to do the exercises properly, just like everybody else. So not knowing how is not really a good excuse. You can learn how. You can find out on my channel. You can find out on other channels. You can ask a friend or somebody you know that knows how to weight train to teach you how to do it. You could hire a coach or a personal trainer. 
There are many avenues for you to learn how to do all the exercises that you need to do properly and safely. Don't really want to go to the gym. Don't want people seeing me working out. Well then work out at home, in your living room, or in your garage. You don't have to start a full-fledged garage gym to get in a good workout. You can just start out by doing body weight exercises. Or you can buy some bands on Amazon for less than $100. And you could take those bands and mimic almost every single piece of equipment that you would find in a commercial gym setting. On my channel, I'm going to show you how to do all of that. I'm going to show you a whole playlist of at home, no or minimal equipment exercises to replace almost every piece of equipment that you would find in a commercial gym. It would mess up my makeup and it takes a lot of work to get it right. Now this one I'll admit I have no first hand knowledge of, but I can offer some suggestions. Either get up, work out then shower and put on your makeup or at night after you get home after work take off your makeup then work out then take a shower or my favorite option don't wear makeup i like it better when my wife doesn't wear makeup i think she looks better naturally makeup clogs your pores makes you break out gives you all kinds of skin irritation and stuff so just stay away from it. I just don't have time. You're watching this YouTube video. You've probably watched other YouTube videos. You're probably going to watch more YouTube videos. How much TV do you watch every day? If you don't think you have time, this is what I want you to do. For the next two weeks, I want you to keep a daily log of everything that you do. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed every day for two weeks, write down what it is you're doing at all times. I guarantee for 99.9% .9 of you, you can find a half hour, three days a week that you could not sit on the couch and watch TV, that you could not sit at your desk at home and watch YouTube videos. There's time in the day that you can convert from doing things that you're doing right now and turn it into helping yourself improve yourself by exercising. It sounds boring. So spice it up. If you go to the gym, bring your phone, some headphones, listen to an audiobook, listen to a movie, listen to some music, same thing at home. Or if you're working out in your living room, and you normally watch TV and you're replacing your TV time with exercise time, exercise while watching TV. This distraction of listening to music or listening to something or watching TV also takes your mind off of what you're doing. Now the first couple weeks you're probably gonna have to focus on what you're doing until you get used to it. But once you get used to it, you can actually use this to distract yourself and push yourself harder than you thought you possibly could. And it ends up being a benefit in the long run. If you have any other excuses you want me to debunk, make sure you leave them below in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. Make sure you stay tuned and watch out for episode two in this video series where I'm gonna go over all the reasons why women should weight train. Until next time, this is Coach Jason, Coming to you live inside the rack.